So here's some interesting news about Tiana Taylor and Iman Shumpert. Uh, I don't know if it was about a week ago, information became public that Tiana Taylor uh, felt like Iman Shumpert was a narcissist in their relationship, etc. There were some, you know, things that were said about Iman that didn't look, that didn't place him in a positive light, right? And so people thought that Tiana made these comments public, like she said this to media, etc. What happened is their court documents and their, you know, divorce filing became public, right? And so now that information is leaking out. Now, that information is leaking out because uh, Tiana Taylor says that Iman made it public. He made that he he requested that their names be made public. At first, when they filed for divorce, Tiana Taylor, they, and she allegedly filed for divorce in January, She Tiana Taylor says she wanted the documents to show only their initials, to keep everything private, for to respect her family, to respect, you know, the children, et cetera, everybody in that, in that, ha in that household, right? And so Iman Shumper, then he went back and told, requested that the initials be replaced with their actual, with their full names, you know, and when the new, and then that the news of the divorce went public and then their full names are in these court documents. So now it's open and people can see what they're talking about. Right. And now the information is leaking on the breakfast club. There was a segment this morning and people and envy and D, envy and uh, Charlemagne are like, why would he make that public? And I forgot what's the other young lady's name. I think her name was Ivy, I believe. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. She was on The Breakfast Club this morning on the clip that I saw. They're wondering why would Iman Shumpert do this? This seems messy. This seems childish. She was always trying to protect Iman Shumpert in their marriage. Uh, and, well, she was trying to protect him since the news of the divorce came out. Which she actually did in a way when she said that cheating was not the cause of the divorce. Right? And... Because people was speculating that Iman was cheating, et cetera, et cetera. She's like, no, that's not it. That's not it. And so Envy and Charlemagne wondering, why would Iman want this public? Well, I believe Iman would want this public if he's, in fact, trying to move on with his, li with his life and his dating life. And he's trying to date other people, another person or whatever. He doesn't want it to look like he's out cheating when he's with a woman, Right. So if everything is kept private, I guess maybe he felt like the blogs will say he's a cheater. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. It will make him look bad. And then whoever the woman he's seen with look bad. She'll be looked at as like a, a home wrecker. If, you know, nobody knows about their divorce, if it's not publicized or whatever, if people don't know about it, she's going to look that be looked at as a home wrecker, which will damage her image and all of that and make him look crazy as well. And so I believe he's saying, OK, so we can. Make this public so the world and all these tabloids can know that we are moving forward and separating from each other amicably, I'm hoping, maybe. And we're moving on with our romantic lives. We're divorcing so that he can date whoever he wants to date in peace and she can do the same in peace. That's what I think it is. I don't think Iman really had malicious intent behind making uh, their names, their full names public. You may not feel like like that was the right thing to do. Some people may feel like it's too soon for him to be trying to date if that's the reason why he wanted the names to be public. I don't know. I'm just speculating why he possibly would, would be wanting their names to be public on these court documents showing divorce. And I'm thinking it's because if he wants to move on with dating, he doesn't look like he's a cheater. The woman he look he's with doesn't look like a home wrecker, etc. You know, but yeah, that's just me. Maybe, maybe y'all feel like he's making it public for some other reason, but I don't think Iman would do that but some people would say if she's calling him a narcissist in, a narcissist in court documents maybe he's doing it to i don't know to to out out that they're uh divorced or trying to do it with some type of malicious intent who knows i don't think it's coming from that side though me personally right um but i will say this because people are speculating why because they looked happy etc why would what happened for them to get a divorce who knows? You know, you never know what happens in people's households and people's love lives. You just never know, right? However, I think I heard about them. I don't know if this is true, so this is all speculation for me. But I think I heard about them, like, basically trying to, like, um, they were, like, dating. Well, they were doing, like, threesomes or whatever, right? Inviting other people into their bedroom. 
And I always caution people. <laughs> I think that is just a road to turmoil. When you are married with your wife and you out here having three. So now again, to each his own, people going to do what they want to do. They're going to live the life they want to live and you do what's best for y'all marriage. I'm not married. So I, what do I know? Right. But I said, you know, upon marriage or even when I'm in a long term relationship with a woman, I'm not having no threesomes because I think they can open Pandora's box. Your girl start liking the other girl. They start meeting outside of y'all and all type of stuff. You mess around and start liking the other woman more than you liking your wife. And then the woman start noticing it when y'all have any sexual enc encounters with each other. Somehow, some way, stuff just start getting crazy. Stuff start happening. You just never know. And I feel like some of those Pandora, some of those doors should not be open. Leave that alone in its entirety. And I don't know, man, like my, my homie used to always say he felt like Tiana had an energy in her, like she really liked girls. And I think she's into girls, which is why, of course, why they were doing that, right? And I don't know. It just, yeah, I don't know. I just, it's certain things that I just would never be opening up to or be open to in marriage. Cause I just think some stuff causes some sexual confusion. And I think sometimes brothers be so openly ready to share their woman with another person or to, to just spice up their life. Or even if it's a girl, people, some men are cool with it being another woman, not another, uh, another guy. But I don't know. Even when it's another woman, I feel like you opening something, a, a door that could be a little, it can cause some confusion and cause some haziness. Right. And so I think some of that should be left alone because who knows? I don't know. He, cause my homie always felt like Tiana might have really wanted to be with a woman the whole time. He felt like that, right? And I think he feel, he felt like she got a little energy that's a little bit masculine. I don't know, Tiana. I ain't really paid attention to her all the way through and through to really know about that. But I do remember when she was young, and the girls go through those time, go through those tomboy phases. Cause I remember I first saw her on Sweet Sixteen, seemed like a tomboy type of girl, whatever, whatever. I honestly didn't know. I really didn't know if she was like what she was into at, a, at that age, right? But I knew she was dating Brandon Jennings when Brandon's early during Brandon's early years in the league, and then she started dating Iman. They got married, had two beautiful children. Everything is all good, but I don't know. I feel like opening them doors up to threesomes can cause craziness and, and, and confusion for sure. So, but I don't know if that's the reason why they got divorced. Why they're getting a divorce, right? But I do believe that the reason he wanted their names to be public on the court documents is that so he won't be looked at it in a malicious way. And a lot because Tiana has a big following. She has a lot of supporters, people who really, really love her, people who support her heavily, people who admire her. And I know a lot of girls who love Tiana to the moon and above. And I remember when I used to say I didn't think she was attractive because I remember she had like a little masculine, like her... She had a strong chin, strong jawline. It's, I don't really like women with them strong, real strong features that are, I don't really like that, you know? And I remember me voicing that. I think she got a nose job too, not too long ago too. But I remember I used to be voicing how I didn't really find her attractive and women would be jumping down my throat, like coming at me. What, you don't like Tiana Taylor? She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. And I'd be like, to each his own. I ain't really... I'm not really into Tiana like that. I never have been. You know what I mean? So um, that was just me. But I saw how many women would come to protect her when I said that. And I didn't even say it with malicious intent. I would just calmly say, hey, I'm not really into Tiana. And people would look at me like I was crazy, like I was out of my mind. Right? And so I think he sees the support that his wife gets. He sees, I think, the support he's gotten from being Tiana Taylor's husband. I feel like Iman has gotten more popular and more famous for being her husband more than his playing career, truthfully, right? And I think he knows how much she's loved and adored and admired and respected. And, you know, and he don't want to look crazy if he out here caught in the street with another woman. But he look like, Iman, the cheater. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That's what I think it's about, man. Machiavelli Mills TV. I'm out. Peace.